Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm showing you where to find all the 17 different smithing templates in Minecraft 1.20. So if you like Minecraft videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one in the future. And so in Minecraft 1.20, you'll be able to find 16 different armor trim smithing templates and one upgrade smithing template, where the upgrade smithing template is used to upgrade your diamond armor to netherite armor in the smithing table and the armor trims you can see right behind me. We'll go over them in a bit more detail in a second. And then we'll go over where you can find these different smithing templates for the different types of armor trims. And so this on the top right is the netherite upgrade smithing template. It's the one with the arrow. And then these 16 items over here are the 16 different smithing templates for the different armor trims. And so applying them is done inside of the smithing table, which is crafted with four oak planks and two iron ingots. So all you need to do is just put in your netherite upgrade smithing template, your piece of diamond armor and your netherite ingot. And then you can get your upgraded netherite chest plate like this. And it consumes your netherite upgrade smithing template. And so if you want to add one of the armor trim smithing templates, all you need to do is put in the one you want to use, your piece of armor and any type of material, which can be emeralds, redstone dust, lapis lazuli, amethyst shards, quartz, netherite ingot, diamond, gold ingot, iron ingot, or a copper ingot. And so you can put in any type of armor here. And if you take out your customized piece of armor, it will use up that armor trim. So how do you actually obtain these different smithing templates? Well, you find them throughout your world in all of the different kinds of structures. So these are the different armor trims. We have the sentry armor trim, coast armor trim, the vex armor trim, wild, the ward armor trim, the Silence one, which is the rarest of them all. The Dune armor trim, the Tide armor trim, Rip armor trim, Snout armor trim, Eye armor trim, Spire armor trim, and then the four special ones, the Host armor trim, Razor armor trim, Shaper armor trim, and Wayfinder armor trim. I call these four special because they all come from the same structure, which is a new structure 1.20, which we'll go over later on in this video. And so you might notice that these armor stands are standing on different types of blocks. There's cobblestone, mushy cobblestone, there's endstone, terracotta. And that is because you can actually duplicate these smithing templates inside of the crafting table. And so that is done like this. You will need seven diamonds for every single one of those. And then one of those different types of blocks along with the smithing template to duplicate it into two smithing templates. So for example, we can duplicate the rip armor trim with seven diamonds, a piece of netherrack, and then take it out just like this. And now we have two of them. And so this can also be done with the netherite upgrade, which also uses netherrack in the center like this. So for all the different armor trims, you can see here which type of block you need to use to duplicate that type of smithing template. They are all quite self-explanatory and fit quite well with the different smithing templates and also with the structures you can find these smithing templates in, which is what we'll get to now. So starting on the left, we have the sentry armor trim which can be found inside of the pillager outpost structure in the chest at the top. And there's a 25% chance that you'll find two of those sentry armor trims inside of this chest at the top of the pillager outpost. Then for the coast armor trim, you'll have to find a shipwreck, which contains three chests. And all these three chests have a 16.7% chance of containing two of those coast armor trim smithing templates. So either this treasure chest or this supply chest or the map chest, all three can contain those two coast armor trims and all 16.7% chance. Then to obtain the Vex armor trim, you'll have to find a woodland mansion. And in the structure, if you can find some of the chests here, which they are quite rare, but here's one for example, you will have a 50% chance of finding the Vex armor trim. These chests don't count, but here for example, we have the Vex armor trim right there. You might have to go through a couple of these jungle temples or jungle pyramids to find the wild armor trim smithing template. And that's because both of the chests in this structure have a 33% chance of containing two of those wild armor trim smithing templates. So right there we have those two wild armor trims. Only a 1 in 3 chance. So there's this chest over here and of course a chest you find when you solve this redstone puzzle and go in here to check this chest. Inside the ancient city structure, you'll actually be able to find two different smithing templates. Those are Ward and Silence. So for Ward, there's a 5% chance of finding it in every single one of these ancient city chests. And for Silence, there is only a 1.2% chance of finding it in one of these chests, making it the rarest smithing template of them all. Also one of the rarest structures in the game. There we go, there's the ward armor trim. And for the silence armor trim, you'll have to go and probably search a couple of these ancient cities before you find it. 
The Desert Pyramid can contain the Dune armor trim. So each of the four chests at the bottom of the Desert Pyramid has a 14.3% chance of containing two Dune armor trims. And there we go, right there, two Dune armor trims. But you might need to go through a couple of these before you find those. For the tight armor trim, you have to go over to an ocean monument. However, there are no chests inside of this structure, so instead you'll have to kill these Elder Guardians. And the Elder Guardians have a 20% chance to drop a tight armor trim smithing template when you kill them. And since there's only three of these per ocean monument, you might have to go through multiple ocean monuments before you get your tight armor trim. Also, looting doesn't affect this chance. The rip armor trim can be found in the nether, and then specifically in the nether fortress. Inside of the chest you find in the nether fortress. And so the smithing template is quite rare, because there's only a 6.7% chance of finding one of these inside of one of the chests in the nether fortress. So quite a lot of exploring is required to find this smithing template. In the Bastion Remnant structure, you can again find two different smithing templates, both the Netherite Upgrade smithing template and also the Snout Armor Trim smithing template. As for the Netherite Upgrade smithing template, in all the regular chests of the Bastion Remnant, you will have a 10% chance of finding one of those Netherite Upgrade smithing templates. However, if you happen to find a Treasure Bastion, which has a structure that looks something like this, with at the bottom a whole lot of gold blocks, then if you find a chest down here, it will have a 100% chance of containing that netherite upgrade smithing template. So you're guaranteed to get one of those if you find the treasure bastion. And so for other chests, it's always 10% chance. And apparently we're very lucky here because there's one right there. And so you can indeed also find the snout armor trim in the bastion remnant. Every single chest in the bastion remnant has an 8.3% chance of containing one of those snout armor trim smithing templates. Then we have the two armor trims related to the end dimension. The first of which is the Eye Armor Trim Smithing Template, which can be found inside of the Stronghold structure. So these Altar-type chests have a 10% chance of containing the Eye Armor Trim Smithing Template, which is not that great, but luckily the Library chests, like the one over here, have a 100% chance of containing one of those Eye Armor Trim Smithing Templates. So you'll always be able to find at least a couple in every single Stronghold. And once you've made it through the end and you've found yourself some end cities, you will be able to find the Spire Armor Trim Smithing Template here. All the chests inside of the end city have a 6.7% chance of containing one of those Spire Armor Trim Smithing Templates. So this is not the kind of end city you want to see. There we go, that's much better. There is a Spire Armor Trim right there, next to an Elytra. Alright, and then for the final four Armor Trim Smithing Templates, Host, Razor, Shaper and Wayfinder, they can all be found inside of the Trail Ruin structure, which was added in 1.20. If you want to know how to find that Trail Ruin structure, I have made a video on that, the link to it is in the top right of your screen. And so once you've found your Trail Ruin structure, all you need to do is brush the suspicious gravel in here to try to find those different armor trims. So if you come across suspicious gravel that contains a rare item, which is either the armor trim, a pottery shard, or the relic music disc, you will have an 8.3% chance to find the host armor trim, 8.3% chance to find the shaper armor trim, razor the same, and also wayfinder. But the suspicious gravel is split up into common loot and rare loot, so if your suspicious gravel has common loot, you will never be able to get one of those armor trims. And sadly we got a pottery shard here. And there we go, there is a armor trim right there. That was the Wayfinder armor trim smithing template. Again, an 8.3% chance of finding it in one of the rare suspicious gravel in the trail ruin structure. And so there we go, that is how to find all the 16 different armor trim smithing templates and the netherite upgrade smithing template, 17 in total. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, then please make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft tutorials like this one in the future. But anyway, there we go, hope you all enjoyed this video, hope to see you all in my next ones, until then, bye bye!